Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a video. Today, we're going to talk about the D20 Studios uh, Killer Boar. Uh, I just call it Killer Boar, it's just Boar. Uh, and I have the Brown Killer. Shout out to again, Kai Lab and D20 Studio, who would like for me to review this. And it's pretty crazy because I have the Wolf and I've never reviewed it. I did take some pictures with it. Um, but I'm reviewing Boar because it's a little bit in my frame that I can actually like fit it on my table without it getting super crazy. And I chose to go about it fully armored because you can obviously take it apart and unarmor it and I want to try to go over some of that in the video and with our boar I really like how even though it is big it's kind of still small like I, I kind of like the feel of that and it definitely fits into my Lord of the Rings lore-ish as giant boars make for giant grounds of meat but you got to understand just how dangerous a boar is even a pig like I don't think people realize just how dangerous they are so using this as a powerful steed to ram into things kind of makes sense I'm just wondering where are they getting all these cool bones from? Like, did they kill an elephant? Like, is it made from tusk of different animals? Like, that's all lore stuff that kind of bugs me out. Even as we look at our back piece, which I'm going to detach now, it's cool because it's it's kind of makes a face here. Uh, and again, don't know whose face that is, but you have to understand, you ripped somebody's face off of this and made it into a flag. So I think stuff like that is pretty terrifying and cool. As you can see, the monster skulls, because they're not normal skulls there. And it's stuff like this that just kind of makes me go, yeah, this is cool as hell. Um, as far as our look on our fully armored, we do have an actual metal chain. It is not wired. It's a, it is a real metal chain. And our faceplate can come off. And you can see a lot of detail in the boar's face, which personally, I'm here for that. Like, it looks really, really good. Then, like I said, we have our mask which protrudes over. Now, if you have like a mythic legions uh, brute, I mean, no, sorry, a brute is a different scale. An ogre scale, this can be a crazy chain for him to carry around as like a trophy. And we're slowly going to disarm our board now because we actually, if you look at our board, these are actually movable on a ball joint. So, like I said, this is why I mentioned it being a ramming vehicle because you can actually adjust these to come downward or look upward. And things like that but you can actually just pop them off they're on a ball joint out of the box they come not attached and as you can see these ball joints will be here on the side and it's for the most part it's pretty soft uh if you're having any trouble i would suggest you heat it up right and you'll see those ball joints there kind of really work their magic for that posability you can take off our back piece here and out the box this is how you will get your bore you saw our mask you saw our back piece you saw the the tusk um, these tusks are not removable but articulation on our head uh, we actually have a nice little bit of roundness but for a boar I don't expect it to be able to look crazy up or down I just did not expect that that's exactly what I got as far as taking off any other parts as you can see oh I didn't even notice the tail before oh the tail is uh, okay I didn't see this before I didn't even notice it our tail is actually like on a soft wire which is pretty cool because it tucks right in between I would have never actually noticed that before so as far as our bore goes, it's actually a latch here right at the bottom, which I've taken off. You can take it off in two parts and you can just gently lift up, which I'm going to attempt to do right now. Uh, let's see if it actually works out in my favor. As I'm doing this all like straight from like taking like one or two pictures of it. Oh, yeah, it just comes right off. OK. So here we have it. And I would explain this other piece I have. Because here at the top, it leaves it a little naked and empty. There is going to be a hair main piece here to fill that in. So let's actually go and like match that. Ah, uh, yeah, that actually looks really good. So you can just, and I believe you can take these off as well. Okay, so just like the other one, there's. it looks like there's some sort of, oh, you could actually just squeeze that off. So I'm learning as we go. But we can go left and go right. Ooh, we have a nice bit of articulation to wiggle our body up and down. So with that tail, our legs move a lot similar to like a mythic legion's horse and what an animal legs would look like. We actually have really generous movement. It's actually a lot of soft plastic here to prevent it from getting uh, really uh, sturdy or broken. But it's strong enough that it holds. And if you feel like it doesn't, I suggest maybe you uh, use some Kiki's joints. But yeah, I like this boar. This, it, it seems a lot bigger. I thought it was going to be gigantic. But it's actually a pretty small item, which means it works well with dwarves and goblins and things like that. Let's get these legs evened out for me. There we go. So yeah, 
I really like this guy. It's weird to play with it on camera because I'm not used to playing with stuff on camera with you guys. But it's really cool to see it because the black to the brown, the paint job is really, really nice. And I do like that main sculpt. It does show off a lot. Oh, I really like this thing. This is like, this is one of those things that it fits my sword and sorcery theme so well. I don't know if you guys saw that, but when I put it down, see how it's softly just lightened up on the leg, but it can still hold its own weight. So, yeah, I didn't expect that. That was actually pretty nice. Now, with that being said, I can't really do... I did the accessory because I just kind of made it naked and cool. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to try to jump into like a size comparison, but in a cool way. So I'm going to try to figure that out off camera very quickly. And let's go over that because I'm going to leave them naked for now. And probably just put the mount back on so we can see what it looks like when people are on top. So let's get over that. Let's, <laughs> let's get over that hump. That's what I was going to say. And that's pretty funny. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, I got my homie Boar here mounted up. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to show it off next to the wolf. So I'm going to try to fit them both in the frame. The wolf is actually much bigger and a lot heavier. And as you can see, wolf here is a big boy. So much so that it's kind of taking my guy out of focus, taking away his light. So <laughs> it's crazy because, right, look. So I'm going to put him back here and then put Boar in front of him just so you guys can see the truly big difference on them like even it, like i put them back foot to back foot and look at just the range of it so you can see the real like it's crazy how crazy the size difference is i didn't realize it till i just now put them together because i've actually kept them separated up until this point so it's pretty cool to see how that kind of lines up which is pretty crazy also i want you to be aware of that when you take your bar his uh his covering, his saddle off, there is going to be a small latch here that kind of keeps the two together. Keep that in mind because you don't want that flying everywhere. Lately, I've been losing a lot of pieces to stuff. Uh, and it's really been driving me crazy, so I don't want you guys to be like me. First up, I'm going to do some Mythic Legions for obvious sword and sorcery reasons. Here is one of my bronze cavern dwarves on top of the boar, right? And I think he looks pretty well up there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he fits. He looks pretty good. A dwarf on a boar, for some reason, really fits the narrative for me. So I like these guys. Like, in my lore, I like dwarves on boars. I feel like it works. Boars like the ground. Dwarves like the burrow on the ground. It really works. Next, we have a Zesre uh, Vitala. Or Tala, depending on how you pronounce it. So, right, here she is on the boar. Right? I think they actually look pretty okay on there, right? Next up, uh, ooh, Mezco Toys Conan. Always a plus because Conan has done lit and everything. Like, Conan's all over the place. He can do anything. Cannot be defeated. Especially not in combat. That, that boy is a champ, right? So here we are with Conan. Looking pretty good. Let me just rotate that thigh a little bit. There we go. Rotate that other one on the other side. So Conan looks pretty solid up there as well. So let's take him away. Next up, we have a larger scale Mythic Legion. I'm going to do the unknown one, right? And when you use your Mythic Legions, one thing I want to point out, make sure you remove these parts here, the middle waist piece. I'm just going to put it on anyway so you guys can see it. But the reason why I remove those is because sometimes they get warped being uh, in that mode. As you can see, you either have to fold it up and or down, depending on what you're doing. But for a larger human, it doesn't look bad, but... uh. Doesn't look as good as a dwarf one now, to be honest. Right? Next up, I'm going to do a Kulu World Skeleton. I'm going to do Reaper. I think he would look cool on there. So, let's take a look. Meatless people uh, need love too, right? Oh, actually, that looks really good up there. The Kulu World Skeletons look really good on the boar. So, that's a good one. I like that. And then, I'm going to throw Shaman Predator up there. So we can see how the big guys kind of work on there. Right? So we can see how the big boys look on the little boars. <laughs> and I don't think Shaman works necessarily on the boar, but it may work a lot better on the wolf. So keep that in mind for that one. But yeah, I think that about sums it up because I don't think we'll do like normal human characters. But if you, let's say you wanted to, here is a Mezco me featured on a Gomez body. I'm missing my hands because I'm in the middle of changing his costume. But if you want to see a more like another character, like human-like character, there I am riding a giant boar. If you wanted to go Monster Hunter movie style. So yeah. Either way, I've been in, 
enjoying the D20 stuff. It is a very new, different line for me. The Wolf was overwhelming, I won't lie to you. But the board seems a little bit more up my alley, which I'm very much enjoying. The different kind of aspects of it. Also, I don't know if you know, but I really, really like this sculpt. And look, I got toys falling because they're mad at me. But I really like that sculpt. So, I do want to say thank you guys very much for, again, people have really been watching my stuff lately. Um, and that does mean a lot to me. It does. It truly does. So as, as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. That's all I really want you guys to do. Watch and enjoy. And you've been doing it. So thank you so much as always. So please be good. Do good. And drink your water, guys. Lately. Oh, lately. No, I mean later. Later. Later.